r slash ask reddit what unfortunate things have happened to you on your birthday my mom made me a beautiful cake and went to bring it to me on her lunch break at work she had it set on the car seat next to her and was driving very slowly to my grandma's someone stopped suddenly in front of her and the cake flew into the windshield she quickly went to the store to buy one to replace it which my grandfather a 300 plus pound man ate in its entirety while we were opening presents because he thought it was just a normal cake for him on my 12th everyone forgot my birthday it was a few years after mw2 came out 2011 but i still wanted it because who wouldn't solid game anyways i hadn't seen my dad that day and my brother usually walked me to school and he forgot and no one at school even the teacher or my friends said anything I'm sitting at home and my dad comes in and says hi and walks into the kitchen. Even he forgot. Then he pulled out MW2. He was the only one that remembered. My depression kicked in at my 20th birthday a few months ago when I had friends over and I had the lingering feeling that nobody cares about me and that everyone just pities me. After my friends left from hanging out, I cried me eyes out and beat myself up about it literally i kept punching my face until it swelled and my knuckles hurt i did it as self-harm and punishment for thinking such a stupid thing i felt miserable for the next week and had a mental breakdown a few days later no one came to my eighth birthday party of the 30 people invited after a mini pity party where an employee gifted me stuffed animals that i have no idea where she got them from someone decided that we should go to my dead grandfather's grave whom I've never met as he died before I was born. I spent my eighth birthday at my grandfather's grave. Odd day, I used to tell it as a funny story but after a couple that's messed up responses I don't really tell people about it anymore. I spent my 24th birthday sat in A plus E waiting for stitches in my boob. A couple of days before I was finishing my fancy dress costume, went to put my craft knife away and the lid was falling off so I used my chest to push it back on, only the lid never made it that far. Q2 days of bleeding because paper stitches weren't cutting it before they decided proper stitches were needed. Finished my fancy dress and still went out. Just had to do the awkward boob hold dance all night. I went to Starbucks to work on a project with my classmates. A strange man came in and long story short he spiked me coffee, I had to walk out of there and he followed me. He was trying to convince me to go back home with him, so I ran into a hospital's ER and asked the cops for help. They took me into the back and it was comforting to hear all older cop to also me my story about what happened. At least the cops took me back to dorm. 18th birthday, got laryngitis and couldn't speak for two to three days. Swallowing anything hurt like hell and I generally felt crappy and just wanted to lay in bed. 19th birthday, hung out with friends in the day. Around 7 o'clock p.m. I felt pain in my abdomen and was kinda nauseous so I laid in bed thinking I had too many sweets. By 11 o'clock I was vomiting and couldn't move at all. Roommate took me to the ER because I had a fever and my skin had a yellow pigment, and turns out I had appendicitis. It's nothing compared to some responses on this thread. But, on my 8th birthday, the family cat puked in my shoe and I didn't notice till I put it on when getting ready for school. I was wearing socks. It was squelchy. But, at least she thought to get me a present. Also, in college, I had my calculus B final on my 19th birthday, but that wasn't too big of a deal because I like calculus and I got to see Endgame with my boyfriend right after. Girlfriend broke up with me. We didn't fight or anything, it was a long distance relationship, I'm in Canada, she's in the Philippines, and she was going into university so she didn't have much time to spend with me anymore. We're still friends and managed to talk once in a while, but it's kinda sad since we've been together for a little over a year. It was my 18th birthday when this happened, she's a year older than me and I hope I can find someone soon or maybe when I go to college. It was my 7th birthday, and my estranged grandfather, 
my mom's dad, brought his girlfriend, and they were having sex in the bathroom, which was right next to my room, and I heard them frickaing. I went down to my mom, and said, Grandpa has been in the bathroom for a long time. I think he's hurt. She went up there, and she lost her mind when he opened the bathroom door. She kicked them out, and no one was allowed in the bathroom until my mom finished washing it. The year my mom and her now ex-husband got married was the worst. I was turning 15 and he insisted on their wedding being three days before my birthday. I didn't see a problem. My birthday rolls around. Nothing. People were calling me to wish me a happy birthday and this dumb dumb tells me that he didn't like me getting all those phone calls because they weren't for him congratulating him on his new marriage. My own mother even went along with it to avoid an argument. I was going to go to a Flatbush Zombies concert on my birthday, my twin sister asks me not to because we were going to do this volunteer thing at Skyzone for foster care. I loathe foster care with a burning passion and the event was pretty much babysitting a bunch of kids for CASA, but I agree to it because I didn't get to see my sister regularly, we were separated by foster care. Two weeks later she cancels last minute because her and her boyfriend bought tickets to the same exact concert. My former circle of friends had just thrown a surprise party for someone in said circle. When my day came nobody did or said anything, nothing happened, and I hid away, miserable and resentful. On a more serious note, my brother crashed and was knocked out on the birthday of one of his two best friends. I mean... He technically died two days later, but really, he was brain dead on impact. We all decided not to tell that friend about it until the next day, so he could have his birthday. It was about a year ago on Star Wars Day, he'll sometimes call May 4th like that sometimes, and somehow conveniently there were fast winds on that day blowing around the place aggressively causing one of my fences to fall. Luckily Noon was hurt in the process but I did end up having a different way to enter my house when I were to walk back from school until October, I would just take a big step over the small barrier that was made as a small temporary fence. I burned my lip on with a hot pocket pretty badly, like bad enough that it scabbed over, and then had to go out in public because I'd already planned a party. Also, my birthday is during the holidays so I remember having very few people actually show up for my birthday parties as a kid. I distinctly remember everyone running late for my 12th birthday and crying to my mom that no one was going to come and I had no friends for a solid 10 to 15 minutes. Nothing of mine compares to my mom's. My shat happens all year lol. But my maternal grandma died on my mom's birthday. Now every year my uncle texts my mom on her birthday something along the lines of Happy birthday I know you must be so depressed since mom died on your birthday I know I'm depressed today etc. Every. Year. It's been 8 years. And it always bums my mom out. She just wants to celebrate and have a nice day knowing that's that my grandma would have wanted. So my birthday is on the 4th of July. We went to a pool party one kid burnt his hand because of fireworks, and another kid dumb high schooler did that surfing thing on top of a moving car, the girl slammed on the brakes he fell off hurt his head and had to be airlifted to the hospital everyone's night was ruined. Even better the kid had a scholarship to Clemson but that got ruined. Also to make my birthday even worse my dog ate my cake. When I was six I told my then best friend that I was going to wear my favorite dress to kindergarten during my birthday, we usually had uniforms, but were allowed to wear casual clothes during our birthday. She then proceeded to wear her own dress instead of the uniform to kindergarten that day, showed it off to everyone, and ended up overshadowing me on my own birthday. I'm not even sure why the teachers let her wear casual clothes that day her birthday was three months away from mine. My niece, who was a foster child, was reunified with her biological mother. We had her since birth and for the first two years of her life. She's a cranky little spitfire of chuckles and love. We were trying to adopt but the birth mother ended up turning things around for herself and earned her parentage back. The family is still grieving but we are all hopeful that the mother does right by the little fella.
This happened approximately two weeks ago. I crashed my car on my 18th birthday. Just a misjudged the distance smash into the car in front. The lady who I crashed my car into, possibly was the nicest human on the planet. Once she knew it was my birthday, she took my name and number and told me to go home and enjoy the rest of my birthday and call her tomorrow, and not to think about it. Just to put into context how nice of person she was, her car was brand new and only two weeks old. Thank you nice lady, wherever you are now. Not as unfortunate as some of the things here, but on my 19th birthday I got an A on my last final exam, yay, it was a nice and sunny day so I was super happy, and on the way home I got caught speeding. Tilde 100 euro fine and because I was still in the two years of probation, after getting my license, I had to take a seminar. That cost me another 600 euro. Probation would have ended a month later, which meant the fine came down to about 60 euro with no seminar necessary. Thanks for watching this auto generated video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload videos like this one daily. I put a lot of time into developing this video generator, but if there have been errors, please tell me in the comments below. Also leave me a link to another thread you would like to see a video about. Have a great day, Alex.